First, we've all heard the debate over police body cams, but now will doctors have to live with the same transparency? A bill is being introduced in the Wisconsin legislature that would let patients have their operations videotaped. NBC 15's Kate Pabish joins us now to discuss what that means. John and Lee, the bill would require doctors and dentists to let a patient know they have the right to have their operation videotaped. I spoke with one Wisconsin family who says if they had a recording of their daughter's surgery, her doctor would now be behind bars. It is gut-wrenching beyond any imagination. Just 12 years ago, 38-year-old Julie Rubenzer was living a happy life in Florida. But the Wisconsin native wanted more breast implants. Her father says they didn't even know Julie was having the procedure until he got a call he'll never forget. His wife in panic saying Julie went in for surgery and wouldn't wake up. The family hopped on an emergency flight out of Wisconsin hoping for a miracle. I said, Julie, squeeze my hand. Nothing. And Again, I said, squeeze my hand. There's just nothing there. But that miracle didn't come. Julie never woke up from her coma and died a few months later after being flown back to Wisconsin. For a while, grief took over, but the questions kept going unanswered. Why had this healthy woman lost her life? What happened in that surgery room? Her death was not an ordinary death. Hers was a wrongful death. An investigation revealed Rubenzer had been given a deadly dose of propofol. A report shows when she flatlined, Dr. Kurt Dangle waited minutes to give chest compressions and had an office manager, not a medical professional, check her pulse. Julie's family now fighting for patient protections. It's a protection for everybody involved. Teaming up with Representative Chris Sinicki on legislation that would require doctors and dentists to let patients know they have the right to request their procedure be videotaped on their own dime. If we have an actual video of who's coming and going that is time stamped and date stamped, you got some proof right there. Julie's father says if there was a camera in his daughter's operating room, his daughter would either have walked out alive or her doctor wouldn't be walking free today. Julie's doctor, Kurt Dangle, was stripped of his medical license in Florida because of this case, but Google searches show he's now practicing in Erie, Pennsylvania. The Wisconsin Hospital Association is not pleased with the new legislation, telling NBC 15 in a statement today, improving the quality and safety of care takes hard work, communication, and commitment. Those efforts will hardly be furthered by this proposal, and it may, in fact, do just the opposite. They say we are disappointed with this legislation and the rationale behind its creation.